figured I was gonna like turn it off while I eat some dinner and I
Excuse me, John. Yes, there you go. Oh, okay. So I'm not muted. Question is answered. Thank you. There you go. Can you hear? Can I say, John? I'm muted too. Yeah. People. Okay, so I'm not muted. Question is answered. Thank you. There you go. Can you hear? Excuse me. Tell us you can hear. Okay. Everybody's texting me. That's the last. Emily, did you send the link? Did you post the link on your on your page? Yes, I did just now. Okay, I'm gonna repost it. Thank you. Hi, Ronnie. I love you. <laughs> was it Rodney or Carl that I was messaging on Facebook with all the information earlier for you, Sam? Or both? Uh, probably both. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All I remember. Donovan, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Your voice is beautiful. Hello, my love. You look fabulous. Thank you, Tommy. This is a wonderful thing. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Well, she was my best friend. You know that. I know that. I know. So sad. Hey, Tim Kazarinsky. Hi, honey. Hey, Tim. Who's coming in? Let's see. A lot of people. Michael. Oh, hi, Michael. Oh, I'm so glad you're taking Matt, you're a little fuzzy over there. Once uh, Michael Winslow and. Oh, there's Paul. We're waiting for Winslow, Steve Putenberg. We're waiting for. Don't mind my glasses. Uh, we are waiting for okay, I'm gonna go. Matt McCoy. Are you here? Not yet. Matt is here. Yeah. Not yet. Oh, there's Matt. Okay. Michael McManus, you're here. Oh, right. oh. I saw Bruce. This is incredible. Oh, he's over there, but he doesn't have his camera on. Donovan's here. Steve, we're waiting for. Scott Thompson is here, I thought. Michael Winslow is joining the chat, people. Well, you know, I Michael see Winslow, you. yes. <laughs> okay. Hi, Michael. We have to give Michael warnings about interrupting this thing, because we know that he's notorious. <laughs> <laughs> He'll make you smile, that's for sure. <laughs> Kazarinsky is supposed to be joining us. Michael Winslow the Fern Champion. <laughs> Leslie, oh, wow. Leslie, uh, Clint Bowers, Leslie is not here yet, so as soon as a couple Jeff more and Steve people, are now entering. I see Gutenberg, right? Hello, Steve. Chrissy, how are we? Steve, but Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Is there, is there a way to get more than nine people on your screen? Absolutely. Well, it'll, it'll just get a little bit smaller, but... Um, Up on the top right corner of your screen? Yeah. Uh, so look on the very top right corner of your screen when you move your mouse up, a little box says view will pop open. Go ahead and click on the view box, and you can either have it in the speaker or the gallery view. If you put it on the full screen, what's going to happen is when I talk, you're going to see me really big. And then when the next person talks, they're going to pop up and be big. So that's, that's really good when you're doing some kind of things. But in, in this setting, I kind of like looking at all of you and kind of laughing. You know, I mean, <laughs> just looking at all of you. you know? <laughs> but I'm saying it's participants. You're saying this is Leslie, you've got to come. Uh, hi, Jeffrey. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, Leslie's going to be coming on soon. Um, Clint Bowers, a 40 year long Broadway friend of Marion's, supposed to be coming on soon. Should be any minute now. I don't want to hold this up too long, but I hope you'll be patient. But then, oh my God, Steve Gutenberg was upstairs. Leslie Easterberg was upstairs. Yes, darling. Tim Kazarinsky is on. Yeah, Tim was in. It was the movie. Mr. Mislansky. Indeed, indeed it is. Hello, I see. I feel like Miss Susan in rock room. I see. It's getting dark over here fast. 
you know we're not going to get through this without laughing, right? You know, yeah. it, it, when all these comedians in here, they're yeah. oh, it's about that. It's about a half hand. So oh yes, I love that. Transportation. All right, all right. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus, Michael, when you walked in, but I just watched your uh, interview the other day, like two days ago, and I seen you just hamming it up the entire time, making them do sound checks, and they were freaking out in the back. That was hilarious. Just saying. Well, they thought it was unplugged, and it was. Right. Well, they said, never say unplugged to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry for taking so long. It should have started at four. Leslie, I'm calling her now. Oh, Scott Thompson oh, is here. Hey. Most of all, you guys are watching this. It's Scotty. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, everybody. How you all doing? I look at all these faces. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Memory lane. Right. For the record, I feel kind of weird. I'm not a part of that. I was just Nor am I. So. But 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 I was a fan. I did watch all the shows, so you guys can just deal with that. You know? <laughs> oh, we will. Don't worry about that. Um, um, Ramsey. Hey, hello. Thank you. Nice bookcase. All right. Thank you. They're all fake. <laughs> oh man. I've got to get one of those. <laughs> They're all hey, joke books, actually. Please, 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 please. I mean, you, everybody. Yeah, I have the greatest, the like... greatest tech guys in the entire world. I mean, uh, JW is an amazing talent. Uh, That's just, true. Uh, so if you ever need any help, um, you just get a hold of him because he's an amazing man. Yo, what page is uh, acting, co-acting? I mean, I can look like any one of you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a question to ask everybody. Yes. Leslie, I can't get a hold of, and Clint, do you want to wait a little bit longer to see if they join us? Because I, they're scheduled to. They know. And well, let's we'll see. <laughs> um, well, 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 let's see. What's the choice? Hmm. I got another call coming in that's a spam list, so I guess I'm not going to take that one. So I'm gonna, we're going to sit right here and wait. <laughs> Whatever you decide, Tammy. Whatever you decide. Just so everybody knows, I'm going to introduce a beautiful woman and a very handsome man, Sharon Ramsey and Elton Ramsey. That is Marion's brother and sister in law. Oh, wow. So All right. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Could you move your camera down a little bit too, E Ramsey? Move your camera down a little bit. My camera okay? Yours fine. E Ramsey, move your camera down a little bit. Okay. Now, now to the left. A little bit to the left. This is other way, other way, other way. No, you just have to turn it a little bit. So we can see your beautiful face. Oh, back, back, back a little bit, back a little bit the other way. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else is going to We got it's one. Michael. We got one. Mom back, mom back. Oh, oh, hey, 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 so you know. You should happen to fall out. <laughs> 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 you happen to crash or you fall out. Go ahead and just come right back to the link. We're going to bring it back. So the bottom is my is our daughter. And my granddaughter, that's Shandy Marion Ramsey LaVessa, and that on the right, the mother, and that is our granddaughter, oh. Marie LaVessa, the one that Marion was hours talking to. Oh, so, all right, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. And you like bring this. everybody an email with, you're all here, so I know that the email worked. <laughs> but people are calling in saying, how do we find it? <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad to see oh, everyone. Thank goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Good to see when, you, Michael. Hey, Bruce, how you doing, man? I I'm can't good. Get an invite. Oh, oh my, look, at, look at everybody. I'm so glad to see these faces. This is so wonderful to see all these faces. Yes, yes. I can't see all the faces. I yeah. can only see nine faces. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 keep, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. We're here, we're here. Oh, you can hear us, can't you? I can hear you. Hey, I don't know. Uh, just so everybody knows, I don't know when Leslie hey. and Clint, they're trying to find the email right. right now. 
Okay, yeah. I see it. Yes. Okay. 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 You're so cute. I just love you. Aww. Anyways, I just want to let you know that Clint and Leslie are looking for their emails. It's right on the very top because I sent it out again to them this morning. So they should be jo joining us momentarily. Oh, uh, we want to oh. them <laughs> do you want to wait for a few more seconds or do you want to start? Well, I, I guess we, I guess, I guess we, we could tell story i don't know uh, we, we can wait um tell some stories because well, I, so you understand this is how i've actually set it up to go mm -hmm. i'm uh jean piero is going to introduce himself because he's actually the gentleman that i asked for uh secondly to help broadcast this everywhere for all of the fans when it's recorded he would be able to broadcast it, and uh, everybody that it at a live conference could see it later. So he's going to introduce himself real quick. W, my tech uh, gentleman, uh, is going to kind of give you the stones of this situation, and uh, then I'll come on and I'll tell my connection and to my best friend in the whole wide world. And uh, JW created the most wonderful video, put together a lot of different things and re as it re uh, relates to Marion's life. And so there's a beautiful video that's going to play. And then I will be turning it over to uh, Paul, to where he's going to be talking. And then Paul's going to give it to uh, Terry, his assistant. And she's going to tell, uh, I believe, one story or two. And then... Um, then you guys get to choose who wants to go. Steve, would you like to go out? Tommy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After, I'll, I'll introduce Fern. Uh, right after me, it'll be Fern. Absolutely. Fern she, has, yeah. she hasn't joined yet. Well, she hasn't signed in yet? No, I don't see her yet. Uh, too bad. Okay, then. Uh, Terry, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go over those rules one more time while we're waiting since everybody's just about here? Uh, what I wanted to do was uh, in just do a little history of, of, of the franchise and introduce some uh, firm because she was so powerfully significant for all of us because she was the one who put us all together and of course introduced us all to Marion. And yeah. So I wanted to do it sort of on a chronological basis like that and then anybody else take over from there, but that's how I'd like it. That sounds wonderful. Paul, if I may, uh, do you have Fern's phone number to give her a call, or would you like me to email her again? Whatever is most expeditious, but let's not wait for that then. Maybe we should just carry on. Give right. another minute or so for, for uh, Leslie. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if she doesn't mind, then we'll move along. Sounds great. I lose the light. There's Clint. Where is Leslie Clint? I tried to call her. Come here and say stuff. Y'all make it happen. She didn't answer the phone. Hey. Make it happen. Can't see over there. Okay, real quick, guys. I'm gonna go over the rules since we got just about everybody here. The rules are really simple. Um, we're gonna ask everybody to reach down to the bottom of your screen and click on that little microphone. So you are all muted. This way you don't sneeze, make any noises, no kids in the background or anything like that. So may I ask a question? Go for, for, the, for the people who want to watch on YouTube that I'm trying to do here at home, how do we get, what is the call station for YouTube? I can't get it. It's Hamilton Radio. Okay, when I go there, I get a lot of your old, your, your other shows, but Hamilton Radio. Go up to the live. Should be live, yeah for the live yeah and live had two guys sitting behind a desk <laughs> huh? yep. no, our, studios, our studio's dark <laughs> all right i'll go there i'm gonna go on i'm going on mute now two guys behind the desk hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael. 
Well, there's something about that. I mean, <laughs> Gene, you might want to check what's on the on the there, screen. There's there. nothing. There's nothing on. Two, two guys behind a desk, Gene. You might want to double check. Um, yeah. Uh, the cat next door wants to know do, do they have treats? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, I'll get back to this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have everybody mute your microphone. That way, when whoever is speaking, they're not interrupted. We're going to go ahead and try and go through this as simply as, as possible, kind of as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. That way we can get everything out. And then after we're done, you guys can kind of just hang out and have fun. Um, Tammy's going to start it off, and then we're going to just roll right down the line. Everyone should get a turn to speak, and everybody should be able to say their piece no matter what they want to do. So, Tammy, are you ready? Certainly. Was Gene going to say anything first? Or? Uh, I can. So you can start whatever you want. <laughs> Go ahead, Gene. Why don't you tell them what you've done? Okay. Well, welcome, everybody, entertainers and all. Um, I'm Doc G. I'm the entertainer at Hamilton Radio. I, I'm the owner, and um, I created this radio station about 25, 26 years ago, and I saw Tammy reaching out for help, and I said, you know what? We've had Marion Ramsey on the show and the station, and we love her. She's a great person, and we've had probably most of you guys on the radio station, um, so I would love to help in any way to put together something for Marion Ramsey. Um, and then my buddy J JW reaches out and says, um, I made a video for this and, um, we're just excited to be part of this, just excited to be part of this because this is truly a tribute that I think she's warranted and, and she would welcome all her friends, all her entertainers all around her and just loving her, showing the love from each other for whatever reason you guys are here. That's wonderful. And I just want you to enjoy the stories enjoy what we're doing and uh again we have a roku channel so we put this on the roku channel we put this on the youtube channel and also um our facebook channel so um welcome to be here and i hope this I hope you get something out of this i hope you really enjoy it <laughs> okay first of all i want to welcome you all and i'm sending love and safety through the uh camera over to all of you because of this horrible COVID times and I, I hope none of you have experienced it and if you have I am so so sorry but I'm glad that you're back and you're healthy so I want to thank you for coming in and participating in my best friend Marion Ramsey's tribute she was the most greatest lady I've ever known in my life I'm sorry we went everywhere together. <laughs> we, she always called me her girl. And that's what I was. And um, how we met was, thank you, Sarah. How we met was I was doing Ray and Sharon Court's autograph show because as a little girl, I was in the movies as well. I did a TV series called The Monroe's, which they just, for the very first time in 50 years, decided to release on DVD. So that's pretty cool. Um, and so I was, well, uh, I'm there by myself and no fans are coming up at that point. I always sing and entertain the people around me, all of the celebrities, whoever that may be. And when Marion walked by, I was singing, that's the glory of love. That's the song I used to sing to my son, Robert, uh, who's now 23, when he was in my tummy. And so she stopped and she looked at me and she said, girl, you can sing. You've got some vocals on you. <laughs> and so she always wanted me to sing that song to her. And I did all the time. We would take, um, we would take comedy uh, classes and regular acting classes together. And we just went everywhere. We went to, to you know, lunch, dinner, breakfast, you name it. Her and I were just uh, two peas in a pod for 21 years. And so that's how I met Marion. And um, JW put together the most beautiful uh, video. I don't see Leslie here yet. So I'm really, really bummed because she's in this video. But you'll see it on the, re you know, we're recording this. So I'll make sure she sees it. But JW put together this beautiful um video that I hope you all enjoy and make sure you listen for that's the glory of love. <laughs>
JW, run the reel. Sorry about that. The Pepner just had technical difficulties, but we got it now. Here we go. That was fun. Where did it go? Uh -huh. Okay, so it's loading, so we have to stand by for a second. Where is it? It's coming up right now, I do believe, but I don't see it. Ah. The wonders of David to me. Restart it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I may have to do this a secondary way. Hold on one second. Tech Nerd 101 activated. At least stop it. So there's no audio. All right. Are we having fun yet? Oh. <laughs> if it was working flawlessly, it wouldn't be a police academy. <laughs> you know what? Your, 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 your cat came to check on us. I like that. Why don't you show me? May, may I suggest we move on? Yeah, oh, that the heart? Is that the heart sign? Yeah. So, That's yeah, we can move on. He's got a heart. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Tommy, may I suggest we move on, please? Yes, absolutely. Oh, too late. Back it up. All right. Make sure you got it from the beginning. All right, go, go ahead. That is that correct? Yes. We're yeah. Go ahead and go to the next screen. Do not, do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight. And there we go. Wow. Move on. Wow. There we go. Found. I'm so sorry, everybody. Technical difficulties. No sound. You come
stuff I have to follow, quite frankly. It really is. <laughs> Oh, as soon as we go back into gallery view, uh, Paul, then me, Terry, then Steve. Tammy, let me just chat a little bit, okay, about, um, about Marion. Uh, to begin with, uh, her champion was the casting director that put this family together so many years ago, and uh, it was quite magical. We had a, an extraordinary director, Hugh Wilson. We had a darn good script uh, that uh, originally, uh, originally uh, propped and Israel wrote, and then Hugh Wilson came in and really, really wrote the final draft of the film. That was the one that really scored. And uh, Fern put together a cast that was, was quite remarkable when you think about it. Everyone was distinct. One of the things about making a, an institutional picture, a picture either about the army or the police, everyone is um, in uniform and people can sort of blend into the wallpaper. And uh, Fern was able to cast individuals and each one was quite unique. And uh, Marion was very, very special. Uh, not only did she have singing talent, she had uh, wonderful comedy timing mm -hmm. ability. She uh, frankly got to be known, as a matter of fact, the two things that, that uh, frankly made Police Academy into a franchise. There were two scenes. One was the podium scene, quite frankly. And the yeah. other was, and the other one was Don't Move, Third Back. And uh, Marion's line there because it was just the wonderful period to a uh, to the picture at that point, and uh, all those cadets that were struggling all of a sudden became a family and a unit. And then we went on to Marion was in six of the seven films. Uh, Leslie was in seven of the seven, and. Um, uh, Everyone, everyone made their mark uh, in Police Academy. And the remarkable thing is it became a family. It truly did. Each time we would meet for the next episode, and one of the advantages was we were frequently on location, which made it even more family-like. We spent time off the stage uh, hanging out. Uh, many of us together. It was a remarkable experience for me. And when people ask me, I have made 40 or more films, when people ask me, uh, what's your favorite film? I always say Police Academy 1. And not only because it, it was quite a successful film and, 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 and gave birth to the franchise, but it just, it just opened my eyes to a wonderful world of Extraordinary artists, technicians, directors, some good writers along the way, too. And it was a great experience for me. And Marion was a significant part of it. And I salute everybody here today. You've all become family. And I wish you well. And that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, Terry, will you tell your story, please? This yes, if I can. Terry and she was uh, Paul's assistant all those years, and she knows everybody in the cast. Hi, everybody. This is amazing. I, I, I live a normal life in Pittsburgh now, and nobody even knows that I lived in L.A., let alone did this. But anyway, um, I guess some of the cast members uh, at the time kind of thought that maybe I was a blank shape, slate that they could reshape into their own image, like, Bubba Smith used to always say, Terry, girl, you could get so cut. But, you know, that would involve working out, so I never did that. But Marion always wanted me to glam up because that was Marion. And she even gave me the shirt off her back once. It was this, this it was a very Marion thing. It's something she probably cooked dinner in. But for me, it was, it was ridiculous. It was this black glittery chain mail thing. It was fabulous. It was a really, really awesome blouse. 
and it was so not me. But for years I had that blouse and every time I ever had to go anywhere where I needed to be shinier than me, I would channel Marion and I would put on that blouse and I would nail it. And she was just such a joy. Years after I left LA, um, I did go back to visit once and stopped and had lunch with Marion. And of course she took me to Roscoe's house of chicken and waffles. And uh, she was going through a really rough time. Um, her partner, her longtime partner, had just passed. And we were talking about that and everything. And I thought, my God, even through all this, Marion Ramsey shines. She just, she just sparkled. She just, she just shone. And it was an honor having her and all of you in my life at that time. Thank you, Terry. Uh, we also have the director of the police academy and Mr. Jim Drake. Would you please uh, tell your story about Marion? Sure, thank you. Yes, once again, good to see everybody here that I haven't seen in quite a long time. I had very little to do with Marion other than to work with her in the sense I didn't socialize. By the time I came aboard up in Toronto, it was the fourth of the police academies. And uh, all I can say is with Marion, what you see is what you got. She came on and said she was never boring or bored. If things got a little slow, a little tense, she'd break into song, have a little dance. Consequently, she was a breath of life to what we were doing as a rule. The last time I saw her was about 10, maybe 12 years ago with Leslie. I was down visiting uh, my mother and about 40 miles from there, up in, uh, uh, well, I'm trying to remember what, uh, it was Asheville, North Carolina. And she was doing an autograph show with Leslie. And I went up to see my friend Harry Anderson, who's the star of uh, Police Academy, uh, not Police Academy, of Night Court. And uh, I surprised them by walking in on them. And we all had lunch together, my wife and I. Uh, and it was a case where um, everybody who still came over, I think it was over, the signing was over. But anybody who was late or hadn't had a chance to see her get an autograph, they would approach her. And of course, Marion would accommodate them with whatever. She'd do her laugh. Anything they'd ask her to do for the show, she'd do. So this was the kind of person Marion was. And I'm just sorry, again, I didn't have more time to see her. I also apologize. It says Bridget Drake. That's my wife's Zoom <laughs> call up in the corner there. I'm not transitioned yet. No. Anyway, That's I'll turn it back to you. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate all the memories here. Uh, Paul, Fern Champion just joined us. Fern. I'm going to let her get back to the camera. I'm so sorry. She was, the, she was the wonderful lady that put you all together, that chose each and every one of you. <laughs> so to speak. Hey, Goose, how are you doing, Goose? You can take yourself off of mute. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Atlanta. Hi. Hi to my police academy family. I see Tim. Oh, my gosh. Wow. What a what, Scott Winslow. Wow, Michael, what a trip. Um, so to say what about Marion? She was part of this wild adventure from the very first one. So this wasn't somebody that, you know, like that that one that nobody knows it was and David somebody gave it spade, you know, a bobcat. They came later. But the group that we had walking in there. Insane is a word that can be used, good or bad. We passed insanity. We had Maslansky and Hugh Wilson. Are you kidding me? And then enter, well, you know, when we got good, good was sort of the stable. He was stable and we surrounded him with crazy. And it did very well, good. Probably that's why you wanted to stay in Valley Stream and never come to L.A. But <laughs> Winslow, you know what this man did? He hid outside of my window, and he was doing sound effects. After I was at a zoo. I had no idea. And that's how, you know, I could go on about Winslow. But meeting Marion, first of all, that voice, that voice. And it was just infectious. You would just, anything that she was saying, I mean, and it was, we were all at a period of that time to have fun. And it was glorious. And everybody was on this ride. Each and every one of these police academy cadets. 
and they all fit in beautifully. The only thing that I'm so sad, not to put a damper on it, I've lost many of our group. You know, that's that's a picture of it all. Bubba. I'm sorry. No, David Graff and Bubba and George Gaines and Jerry Paris. And, uh, yeah. You know. Horrible. That's the tough part. That is the tough part. So when I see the police academy, and I'll just say the first one per se, because that's that was my heart and my core. That to miss these folks, it's just wrong. <laughs> you know, I don't know, but she was light. Bubba was light. Graf was light. We had no darkness. And he yeah. just had a ball. And I mean, and you, you Wilson was something quite extraordinary, wasn't he, Fern? Paul, that's what I'm saying. I walked yeah. in with you and Hugh Wilson. What would I go? Was I going to expect in front of the camera? Look what I had in back of the camera. You, Hugh, and Fern. That was the beginning of lunacy. And we just happened to meet some other wonderful, talented, terrific people. And they all liked each other. That's what was so cool about it. Everyone liked each other. And she was just precious. She was precious. That voice, and especially when she turned around and she did that other voice. Oh my gosh. Just, just, yeah, I wouldn't have missed this. Um, and to say, I love you. I thank I would, you. Bye. I just want to say thank you so much, Fern. Uh, we truly appreciate you being here. You are the lifeline as well for Police Academy. I was looking for Steve Gutenberg, but he dropped off somehow. So well, I he, moves, he goes back east a lot, you know, and then you can't. Oh, get that's right. So Michael, Michael, you loved Mary, and you two were best, 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 best friends. Would you share some of your memories? Well, I don't even know where to begin because it all just seems to blur into one big um, memory of just happy happiness for me. Um, I, 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 she called her so I, I guess a, a functional deal, and mm. <laughs> it's like it worked for me. I mean, um, the first time I ever met Marion, I didn't I didn't know that she, that she had all these capabilities and talents, and I started reading up on her, and I had no idea that this 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 this, this young lady had 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 Broadway skills and and and, and Broadway dance ability and, and music ability, and I had no idea that I, I was doing powerhouse and and she was she was like my older sister she's like i mean i i i i have five, I have five older brothers okay so i didn't have any sisters until mary and there was so much there that every every time i saw her and every time we worked it was almost like i i, I was being i was being educated <laughs> I, would, I was getting um i was getting my, my, my broadway portion of my career in, in film so I don't even know where to begin. I, I just I just miss family. And I hope that I hope that the, the, the Ramses are, are, are listening to us and letting them know that we we're thinking about them. Uh, every single one of us cast members. Uh, even the ones that haven't spoken. But um, for us, this is a big this is a big piece. Marion was Marion was 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 our heart of our production. And I'm gonna just defer the rest of my time if possible. Because I saw it by George Robinson. Robertson's on. I'd like to hear from say hello again. Everybody else. I, I, just, I just miss the rest of the family. Thank you so much. Steve, uh, you loved Marion so much. I would love for you to share some of your memories. Sure. Um, well, first of all, um, Jim Drake, you said that Harry Anderson is star of the Academy. <laughs> 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 I corrected myself. <laughs> I know, but Jim, Matt, Matt, are you there? <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's, it's just, anyway. Um, this, by the way, this, is ru this has changed my life and ruined my life. I just want to tell you that. Um, you know, Marion, from the second, I, just like 
everybody here, when you meet Marion, you're meeting a pure, honest, completely non-Machiavellian. She has no agenda. She is just a purely friendly, loving, helpful uh, person. Now, the other side of that is I, you know, I knew who Marion was, and She's incredibly talented. Broadway, what a voice, what an acting style, the training she's had. Um, and I always thought, as I'm sure everyone else feels, like it was just, first of all, to act in a scene with her. She's a really good actress and a total pro. And, and such a nice person all the time. Um, and she was always complimentary. I don't know if everybody here, I'll bet everybody here noticed it. She'd always make you feel good. Hey, you look good today. You got, boy, your outfit looks good. Well, you do something to your hair. You look, you look in great shape. You look so happy. Always so complimentary. And it makes me, uh, you know, very sad. Um, and uh, to know that. Uh, you know, that we're here together, um, and for her mom and dad and her family, uh, I I just wanted to send you my love and strength, and uh, and just know how much Marion meant to all of us. Uh, what a great person you brought up, and what a great family she came from, and to all the friends here today. Uh, we sure are lucky, still lucky, to have Marion as our friend. So uh, that's all I'd like to say. <laughs> George Robertson, would you like to speak? And that was beautiful. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I don't have any real stories about Marion because I did the six films. Hmm. And I never had a scene with her. I think that was discrimination or something. <laughs> uh, but I, I've always looked at this from a slightly different way. I mean, the police academy was an outrageous comedy. But Marion, when she did that dirtbag number, to me, that always identified them versus us. Yeah. They were, we were the police academy. We were the good guys. They were the bad guys. Mm -hmm. And it, to me, it added a big, uh, a strong element to the to the movie. But I also, uh, well, I'll just throw in the fact of the the, the fallout from police academy. Uh, for five years, I traveled across Canada as Commissioner Hurst, or Captain Hurst, whatever he was, and talking to high schools and universities about UNICEF and about the condition in the world and, and uh, what was exemplified, I think, because again, I would have to say, yes, it was a, a outrageous, perhaps outrageous comedy, but it had a deeper meaning. At least it did for me. And the, I used to talk to these big high school auditoriums, and the kids would come up afterwards, and they, they would, everybody had a story about, uh, about the police academy. And it was wonderful. And we did a, we did a really good job uh, across the country. That. Every small little town I've heard of the movie has been all seen. And, uh, and I was, uh, I think, a better person for knowing all of the people in the cast. And so I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I wish all of you the best of luck. And it's so wonderful to see you. Wear a mask. Amen. Matt McCoy, would I, you like would you I, like to give out some memories of uh, 
cooks, as one would say. <laughs> no, absolutely. I appreciate it. I appreciate being a part of it very much, Sammy and Paul. So thank you very much. Uh, my love and my uh, my thoughts go out to the Ramsey family initially. So uh, uh, my heart and I think everybody's heart on the screen here is with you folks. Um, I came in at number five, and I think the, the most thing, uh, mostly what I remember about Marion is inclusion. Um, she was so welcoming to me um, uh, throughout five and throughout six, and she just was uh, a total light uh, and, and, and a total inclusion of me coming into something that uh, I had not been a part of and was now a part of, and she couldn't have been more welcoming. Uh, I think that still resonates with me, and it's something that was so powerful from her to me that I think it strengthened what I took from there on. Uh, uh, with my work and, and with uh, uh, people that I would meet in the business. Uh, uh, Paul spoke so beautifully about it being a family. My, my son was born on Police Academy 5 in Miami Beach. Uh, wow. And he's now, he's now 33 years old and he has two kids of his own. Uh, so uh, we're doing our best here in the McCoy household to continue uh, that family. Uh, so uh, I want you all to know that. And, uh, I'm just so happy that, that, that Jim has not transitioned. I was very concerned, uh, and uh, the fact that he hasn't is, is wonderful. Uh, so I, uh, I uh, listen. I, I I'm a, uh, I'm late to the party on this, but uh, uh, I, I was made to feel like such a part of a family. It started with Paul started with Mary and, and it, it, it really came from each and every one of them. So uh, once again, my love and my prayers for the Ramsey family and actually seeing each of your faces to, uh, to each one of you as well. So thank you. Kim, would you like to share some of your memory? Unmute. Find the microphone. Uh, I think, uh, as an interloper, uh, I should, I, in in all deference, I, I want to speak after the original guys because uh, I, you know I'd like to you know, hear from Bruce and Donovan. Uh, I you know I'm a late comer. I came in on the the second wave when I'm uh, just so thrilled to be able to join the the clan. But uh, I, I, I'd like to come in a little bit later. Absolutely, Donovan. Would you please share some memories of the beautiful Marion? Well, <clears throat> we all loved her. I loved her very much. Um, most of the comments that I have about her are as an actress and working with her as an actor. And I got to tell you, I always think I have a lot of energy, but she beat me out on energy every single time. This girl <laughs> was boundless. Um, I was very fortunate to have had a video camera at the time that we were filming. And so I shot all the behind the scenes things that I could find. But anytime I was on Marion, she would actually start a whole play. She would do a, a musical routine that led into an acting scene that gave us another song. And while we were off camera, she was working harder than I'd ever seen her work before. She was an amazing, amazing bundle of energy and such positiveness always came from her. Um, <clears throat> whenever there was a signing, she would always call me to see if I would like to go to the signing. She was the only one that ever, you know, invited me to come along to those things. And I, and I loved her for it. And she was just like a mom in that way. Uh, I invited her on to my... Uh, an improv show a couple of times and she and Leslie actually came and sang on the show and genuinely the most positive person I've known in a long long time she she was just a joy to be around and never let down as far as I know I mean from the moment I saw her till the moment she left my sight she was always on doing wonderful uh fabulous songs or entertainment. She, she was just really wonderful. And, and I think that uh, 
there's an empty space right now. I think you meant um, I think she's I, and no, I love her. And, and uh, be proud, parents, because uh, she was just such a wonderful energy in this world that you brought. And, and thank you for that. And be proud that she was such a wonderful um, energy in this world. Uh, it's Marion's uh, oldest brother, Elton, and his wife, Sharon, and their daughter, Chrissy, that is joining us on this Zoom. Uh, I believe well, Marion's parents are dead. Um, but, they, still, uh, Elton, they still need yeah. credit, you know? Still yeah, one little... more time for that, my sister. <laughs> oh, and, 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 and <laughs> I'm so sorry, and Shonda. Shonda is with us as well, uh, hey, their Shonda. daughter. And Bruce, can you, can you share some of your memories, please, of the wonderful, ebullient Marion? Not a wallflower, this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen, never seen more energy. Uh, Marion was... Um, I used to ask her, do you ever get depressed? Do you ever get angry about anything? <laughs> and, you know, the beautiful thing about her was that she never, um, she never made, if she had bad moods in there, she never made it anyone else's burden. She just gave and gave and gave that way. Um, I was asked to send condolences to the family. I live in Virginia now about 50 miles west of the White House, very rural Virginia. And Marion came to my house and spent about three or four days with my wife, Susan, and myself back in April of uh, the year before COVID. And uh, the sheriff of Lyon County uh, sends his dear condolences to Marion's family. Um, I met him, I became a buddy of his, and he knew I was in the police academy, and he kind of embarrassed me and said, can we do a police academy night? He was running for re-election for his third term, and I said I would, and I made a few calls, and Marion so graciously flew across the country, and he was going to put her up in a hotel, and I said, no, 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 I want this time with a fellow cast member so she stayed with us and she was just a tornado just a <laughs> i mean we were doing yeah. stupid things when, when i introduced her she sang two two songs at this uh, fundraiser for mike chapman and he won by the way and when she sang she said she said to me i want you to introduce me as you're going to introduce me as my, my twin sister, I said, okay, I'll do that. And uh, we just carried on all weekend. She regaled us with stories about her Broadway days, about UV, but great, great details, tap dancing and just all the rest of it. There's no time. Um, we were feeding cows, drinking Chardonnay and getting little buzzed on the farm here. We were feeding cows <laughs> on our mouths. She was taking bales of hay and reaching in and feeding them. And she's just the most optimistic and cheerful tornado I've ever encountered in my life. And uh, very gracious. And the things that some of you have said about how complimentary she has been uh, with everyone she met, how complimentary it moved about you. Just a lovely person. You know, the morning after, you know, there's just a shock when you hear that someone, anyone, it doesn't have to be the police academy movies has passed on. It's just a shock. You know, the older you get, you realize that days are so long and decades are so short. And I walked I heard she passed, and I came down to the kitchen, and I was kind of glum, 
I was just washing some dishes. <laughs> I just looked up and I yelled at her. I said, what did you do? You're leaving us. So I love her. And I'm going to keep this very short and brief. She will be missed. She's a memorable, sweet girl. I'm glad to have counted her among my my buddies in my showbiz travels. Yours. Wow. That's beautiful, Bruce. Thank you. Michael, would you step forward and tell your stories, please, about Marion? Unmute your your mic. There you go. Um, well, I, I only um, I, I was only in the in, in four, and uh, Jim Drake invited me to uh, be a part of it. I think he needed a some a big guy to uh, be a bad guy, and uh, he promised that I could be strapped uh, to a car and driven at high speeds through the streets of Toronto. And I said, sure. It's not true. Anyway, the, what I remember, like I say, I was just, it's like a one shot thing. I was supposed to come up for one day and do something, go back to LA and then come back later for a couple of weeks. Well, the weather, as you know, in Toronto was a little odd and we had biplanes and balloons and all of that nonsense. So I go up for my one day and then I'm told, no, I think you're gonna be here for a while. So I had, you know, one pair of underwear and a sock. So uh, I had to go out and buy everything and I was such a stranger with this group of people. <laughs> but the best part and what, what was great about it was uh, uh, Marion and uh, Wesley were really inclusive and started inviting me to, you know, dinners and things. it was a party at Paul's place one night I was invited to. And, you know, I, I was only going to be there for a short time and I, I felt uh, I was made to feel a, a part of the cast largely because of Marion, who, as, as everyone has, has said, you know, lights up a room. I remember going to some uh, a Greek restaurant in Toronto. You probably all went to this place, and we drank a lot of Uso and uh, had a good time. Uh, but she just helped me feel like I was a part of, of, of this wonderful group that you guys are a part of. Um, and, you know, the heavens would be a little darker. I guess without her, she was truly a, a supernova, quite a, quite a star. Thank you. Thank you so much. Scott Thompson, are you there, darling? I can see him getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down. <laughs> Scott, will you share some of your memories? Scott? You're on. What happened to him? Scott Thompson, are you there? Turn on your microphone. Remember, it's at the bottom right of your screen. Left. Oh, is it left? Thank you, sweetheart. Scott, -o. <laughs> ah. Are you there? No, you're in. Yes, oh, yeah. Yay. Uh, uh, hello. Ah, there you go. There you are. Uh, I'm having te technical difficulties. So, uh, well, can you hear me? Yes. yes absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I can't hear you. So, um, first of all, um, Elton and Sharon, you realize you're. You're sitting in the Hollywood Secret Square, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Well, condolences to the Ramsey family. Um, uh, like all of us, uh, just, just completely uh, caught. Uh, uh, just overwhelmed by by the sad news and um, and uh, thank God for uh, for film and videotape Amen. and our memories. Um, Marion was uh, I like to think of her as the heart and soul of, of Police Academy because she 
she always kind of kept us all in the loop about the shows and um, and when the next big, big residual was going to happen. <laughs> and, um, and and she was she was like our little ambassador. And I, I loved her. Um, I loved making her laugh. And I and I love that she made me laugh. And probably the hardest time I ever laughed at all, and thank God for time and Scott videotaping <laughs> Marion as Tina Turner singing Proud Mary on crack. <laughs> she, it was the most hilarious thing I'd ever seen. All I have to do, like, you know, actors hold on to things that will make them work if they have a. One of the hardest things to do is just to laugh on camera, and I always use Marion's image if I had to laugh on camera of Marion doing Tina Turner. Um, and it's, she still makes me laugh when I think about that. And, um, and she's on YouTube. Anyway, doing. she's a national treasure. She's our treasure. And, uh, you know, we. We get to remember her, and we're lucky to have known her. Amen. Yeah. Tim? Okay. And okay. Tim. I'm good to go now. I'm good to go now. Um, I'm putting my ear in because I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I have to try something. I have to begin by saying what an honor it is to join, to join the Police Academy family because um, it was the most fun you can have with your clothes on. Um, I looked so forward. I sort of stumbled into the second one. I, to this day, I tell people, I'm in three police academies. Not the first one. That's the great one. Um, I'm so honored to have joined, been able to join the family. And then every time I got re up for another one, I was like, yes, I get to go hang with, with these guys again. And that was the best part of all, all with the making of them. Because we would all hang out <coughs> A, a couple of years ago, I ended up doing a, 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 a show on Broadway with um, we call an Act of God with Jim Parsons and 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 stuff. And for four months run, never went out with the cast and crew. I'm going, what is this all about? This is not like Chicago theater, and it certainly wasn't the police, police academy practice. I so love to just the hang time with everybody was just the greatest. And, and Jim Drake, I, I knew you hadn't. Lost your wiener, and I'm so glad to, glad to hear that. I knew it was you on the <laughs> Last I heard of you, you bought a house in Las Vegas, and now you're in Pittsburgh. Uh, but he's a, um, and Paul smoking cigars with you up in Toronto and, and learning about life. We, it was just some of the, my, my, my favorite times with, with all of you. It, it was a group. Steve, my, we hung in New York, and uh, it, it was just Scott O. Uh, the, the, those autograph signing things, I would jump at the chance because I would get to hang with my, my family. It was just the greatest. And for Marion's family, you should so be so proud of the human being that she was because she was such a force of nature. Man, she would come into a room and she would light it up. If somebody once told me that you would have the power, if people have the power to walk into a room and suck the life out of it, uh, or you know, they can they can also charge it up. And that was her. Uh, she could party, party like nobody's business. And I, I remember cut an an autograph. Michael Winslow, I think you couldn't make some autograph show in Munster, Germany. And I think I went and filled in for you. Uh, and so then I find myself with Marion and um, uh, Leslie in Germany uh, with a bunch of horror people like I was chopped up in hostel. Yeah. The sweetest yeah. pussy cat of a man. It was so much fun. Uh, that, and just closing the bars every night. And she loved jokes. She loved dirty jokes. She loved playing tricks. She was so much fun to be with. I remember, uh, God, 
best of so on with Bubba. Um, when we had to do that team thing thing, well, Leslie and Marion so wanted to do that, and Bubba was like kind of against it. And Marion kind of kind of beats me up. She says, "You got to go," because he walked off, the, you know, and disappeared, and walked off the set. And Marion was like, "You got to get your ass in there. You got to cheer Bubba up. You got to get him to do this thing." And we I ended up because Marion sort of jacked me into it. I, I went and had to convince Bubba we got to go and dance and do this thing in the background. We had the best time, and, and that was it. She was a, just a, a party monster and a cheerleader and a, a just just a, a wonderful, loving soul, and I'm going to miss the hell out of her. And that's it. I'm done. Thank you, Tim. Jeffrey, would you tell everyone some memories that you have of Marion? Well... Just like um, Matt, I came in late on Police Academy 5. And uh, first of all, thank you goes out to Paul and Alan Meyerson for casting me. The, uh, what happened was I had recently moved to Florida from New York. And I am still unpacking in this house. And all of a sudden, I get a... Uh, a call from this agent who I sent my picture and resume to. And she says, I have an audition for you now. So I re ran over and uh, they, they, uh, she says, I want you to go over to Dean Miller Casting and they're casting for a movie. I said, okay. So I got there and I got the sides and the sides that I had gotten were for the character that eventually went to Rene Aubourgeois. But I had an absolute blast doing the audition. And one of the greatest things that I remember, not only about Marion, who I absolutely adored, as a matter of fact, this is how, whenever I would see Marion, this is how we would converse and talk. That's, <laughs> you know, uh, you, could, you, could barely, you could barely get a, a piece of paper in between the two of us. I just <laughs> adored the woman. But a lot, of the, a lot of the police academy people, I wound up meeting either afterwards or during the breaks. The people that I spent the most time with were Bubba and David and Lance, who also, if memory serves, he was also, uh, his wife was also having a baby at that time. Oh, wow. During Police Academy 5. So he was jumping off the walls. He was excited as, as all get out. GW also. And uh, I've made some lifelong friends from that movie. And one of my dearest friends is Michael Winslow. Uh. And uh, Jimmy Hampton, who played the mayor. And I feel like a stepchild several times removed because I came in late. And, uh, you know, when it comes to the police academy people, people usually come up to me and say, and you are. <laughs> but I was there, and it was a real pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much to Tammy for uh, getting me into that photo shoot uh, at the Hollywood show. It got me a chance to finally meet Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> who, I know. Remember, if you remember, I walked up to you and I said, Massapequa? Right. Yeah, and I said, Levittown. <laughs> USA, Levittown, the USA. Absolutely. Yeah. So you know, I I always bemoan the fact that I came in on five and Steve stopped at four. <laughs> it was like, damn. Do you know that it took me seven years to get all of you into into David's show. Oh my uh, goodness gracious! Great balls of fire. Really. But you know. I want to tell you about Marion. When I first, 
got to meet her, her, she would look at me and her first reaction was, hey, baby. <laughs> and uh, I, I was besotted from then on. <laughs> so I just uh, adored her and I got to see, uh, spend time at A Taste of Hollywood with um, Marion and Leslie. Unfortunately, but fortunately, Donovan couldn't make it. He had to bow out because he was uh, doing the Santa Claus post office commercial. Yeah. Yeah, we and had, I had saw to... that right after I got back. You know, and it's like, there he is. All right, he had a good reason. So uh, I feel like my entry into this amazing family was coming more and more as time went on. I was, I was pretty much... Uh, Again, like a stepchild, but um, a beloved step stepchild, I like to think. Amen. But I met so many of you. I met Cle uh, Clint. Yeah. Also, and yeah. 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 and um, you met Rodney. I met Rodney before that. <laughs> Rodney, I met you in May of 2008. <laughs> at um, Mickey Sinardi's uh, roast a -thon. I like to call it because we were outdoors in 110 degrees. <laughs> hey. Remember that? I yeah, there. I remember. Oh, I remember. Brother. But uh, yeah, no, that, that was Police Academy 5 was a monumental time in my life only because I always like to say it was the first motion picture movie that I broke the sound barrier on. I actually had lines, finally. <laughs> and I wound up on the screen. So, uh, you know, my part wasn't cut or anything like that. So it was it was nice. But the best part about it was the people. Was the people, especially behind the scenes. Uh, no real funny stories about Marion. I didn't get a chance to be in a scene with her or get to spend too much time with her, but um, the the funny story that I had with Police Academy Five was I had to play a, a news photographer, and <laughs> I went through the uh, rehearsals and everything, and then we shot. Now in the waiting area at the Fountain Blue Hotel, which is where we shot, uh, several people were back there. One of them being Jimmy Hampton. And he was playing on that little uh, tiny pocket video golf game that he had. And he had his uh, pince nez glasses at the end of his nose. And he was just sort of looking down. And I shot the scene. And when I shot the scene where I say, Commissioner, Commissioner, can I get a picture of you congratulating Commandant Lassard? And George says, oh, of course. So... <laughs> I, I did the thing, but when I got the shot, I sort of like had an out-of-body experience where all of a sudden, out of my excitement and out of my mouth came, great, that's a pit, that's wonderful. And I left the scene, and I was told to go into the waiting area, and I go into the waiting area, and there's Jimmy Hampton on the golf game with the, the says on the edge of his nose and he just looks up over the glasses and he says that's a pit <laughs> I haven't heard that, <laughs> that. Oh. <laughs> and I said it just came out I don't know <laughs> and wouldn't you know if you listen you can hear it in the movie uh, but, you know it was those kind of things the excitement that I had in working on Police Academy. It was magical. It was. It, I felt like I was at home. I became a homebody with the Police Academy people. And over the years, it's all been very special to me. That movie in particular has been my 
my touchstone and my favorite. Thank and you, Jim. Marion and Marion and Leslie and uh, Lance and GW and David and Bubba and Steve, even though I didn't get to work with him, and all of uh, the police and Donovan and all of the people that um, I got to rub elbows with and become a part of the family. I'm very grateful, very grateful to everybody who um, encouraged me and were, were kind to me on set. So, and to, and to Marion's brother and sister-in-law, my sincere condolences. I, I missed her to the moon and back also. Amen. I would like to bring on Clint now. He was Marion's, uh, they had a beautiful best friend relationship for what, 40 years? Yes. So okay, everyone well, knows this is Clint Bowers. He was from uh, Broadway when Marion was, uh, was on Broadway. So please share some of your memories with um, all right. Uh, we were just talking. Uh, first of all, I enjoyed what you said, Jeffrey, and and meeting you. And um, uh, I enjoyed meeting all of you who I have met. And I was just saying to one of my parents how wonderful it is that when we get together, we we do get in into all of our experiences, um, and it and that's what keeps us alive and going. And that's what will keep me alive. Uh, part of my life and remembering my time with Marion. I first want to say again condolences to Elton and Sharon, Chrissy and Shonda. Uh, I've spent a lot of time getting to know you guys in the past, what, two months now? It seems like a lifetime. But, and I know I'm not the only one that you've invited to your home and you said anytime I come over there, I have a place to stay, that you love me. And I love you, and I love the text late at night and early in the morning, and the pictures <laughs> of you. Some of those pictures I know that you sent Marion would never want to be out in public. But, you know, the great thing is I see her so real in the side that she uh, glamorously would not let me see at times. And when Mary and I met, it was back in the late 70s when I was just 12. No, back in the late 70s when I did The Wiz and I joined that and I think she was the bubbling, bubbling brown sugar or Yubi maybe she was doing. And when we finally got together was in the 80s going to Germany. And that's when you showed uh, her doing the peacock feathers. But that's when we used to hang out and play and go, you know, make mischief after the show and do a lot of things. But she was already a police academy star by then. And while there were eight of us from Broadway, there was a, I think there were 32 in the cast, but eight of us who were headliners. And there was always this argument, especially with the women, about who was going to take the last bow. I shouldn't say that on YouTube. But uh, Marion was always, as you know, giving and not, uh oh, I'm frozen. As, as you know, giving and not, not really uh, uh, fighting for that. She didn't really care. But of course, at the end of the day, the proof was in the fact that she had tons and tons of fan mail at the door from her police academy fame all over Europe. So, uh, needless to say, that went over uh, very well. When I came to Los Angeles in 2000 after having an injury in the show, is when we became road dogs and I hung out all of the time. That's when I got to know Paul and um, I went on the signing with you, Tammy, and met um, you, Jeffrey, and I think I met Michael at Raleigh Studios at one of those parties. And Michael Winslow I've met several times, especially when he was doing a comedy act, um, uh, I think, I don't know if it was the Staples Center or where it was, but it was wonderful. Haven't met all of you, but from the story she would tell me over and over again, it seemed like I know you very well. Um, uh, who was it that she went to the farm with? That was Bruce, was that? Uh, no, I can't see who. Yes, it was with Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Bruce yes. Yeah. She talked about that farm when she came back. Everything you just said, she talked about. But we we would like to take drives up the coast and sing and write and create stories and all that stuff that we were going to do. And I'm sure she did with many of you. 
and um, she was always creating. And she talked about what I think you offered your farm for us to come back, or for her, and I was going to be in her suitcase to make um, <laughs> to make a, 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 a play, to do shows, and to do all kinds of wonderful things there. And my family happens to have some land in Florida. I wanted to go down there and create a play with her. And then she happens to have land. I'm, I'm not going to say too much, Elton, but anyway, she, she has, you know, in Virginia. And I said, you got all this land. Listen, we can start a studio. We can do this. We can be the next Tyler Perry, you know. We can do Marion Ramsey's name, and we can start our own little um, sitcom. All those things. Marion had so much life. Uh, It's okay, honey. It's okay. I've already cried three times. What a lot of you don't know is that uh, this whole Zoom thing is going to be a gift yeah. from, from the Ramsey family to the world. Um, nobody's going to make any money on it. It's not being sold. No, nothing. Because somebody was asking me, and I just um, I was taken aside and. I think that's inappropriate. This is a tribute to my best friend and your best friends as well, Marion. She was a great lady. And so this is going to be a gift. It's being recorded and it's going to be a gift. So uh, JW is going to help me out by, and oh, by the way, if anybody would like to see the video, I don't know what happened, if there was a an internet issue, but the video plays wonderfully. If you would like to see the video, uh, in its entirety, you know, roll correctly. Uh, we can email it to you without a problem, and you can actually see it. It's so beautiful. I, I just don't know what happened to um, the internet and streaming that. It played okay, but not really. It plays a lot better. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to. Um, Rodney Allen Rippey, I don't know if you all know who he is, but he was the spokesperson for the Jack in the Box uh, commercials all those years as a kid. So, you know, the, the one that says it's too big to eat, the, the Jumbo Jack. <laughs> Rodney also uh, loved Marion, and we did some autograph shows together, and they had a really special relationship. And so, Rodney, you share your story. Well, I'd like to start off uh, to the Ramsey family. I, you know, all of this love is for Miriam and for you. And um, we really wish you all just, you know, we, you know, sometimes you think about someone passing away. And a lot of times I think about it is she just earned her wings and she flew away and she's in heaven and she's regrouping with family members and loved ones who passed away who she loved and missed and so it's just a positive way of of knowing and hopefully one day we'll all be there together and we'll all meet up again but um i know that tammy was very close to miriam and i had the pleasure of you know crossing paths with her at autograph signings and and the one thing that was so awesome was we had to go to a big autograph signing up in Visalia, California. And so it was a big group of us and we all went up there and and, and she just had a good, she, you know, everybody loves this trilogy and all of you legends here. I mean, I'm just honored. I mean, how I would have wished to have been able to be in any of the police academies because they were all great movies. Every last one of them will just keep you in stitches. And so, um, I feel jealous that I wasn't able to be in any of them, but um, to all of you, you're all legends, and it's just an honor to be able to be in this group. But thank you, Tammy, for uh, inviting me. And um, But I will say that when we went to the autograph signing in, in Visalia, we all, at the end of the, uh, yeah, we just had a blast. And then and that night, at the end, the promoter, uh, took us out. It was called the Taste of Hollywood, and they did it in Visalia, California, this little town. And we brought all of these huge stars in, and I mean, it just—it it was just amazing. And so the neat thing was, we went out to dinner, and we were just able to sit there and hear her jokes, and 
and hear her talk about things. And it was just great to be able to have that time with her. And so, you know, those are the, uh, the great memories that I have. And, and of course, the whole trilogy of movies, I can, you know, we'll never be without her. She'll live on forever. And so to her family, God bless you, Tammy, and to the whole group of the Police Academy, thank you for letting me be a part. Yeah, we went out to the Taste of Hollywood and Visalia, and yeah. Clint, Leslie, Marion, and I were asked to go into the stadium or into this big uh, stadium and teach to the to the young thespians of all all um, grades, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, mm -hmm. and it just filled up this whole stadium. It was so beautiful, and we were making them do some different acting things, and we just had such a blast. Leslie and Marion were absolutely superb. Clint and I teamed up, and we were teaching the kids to do stuff. There was a stage, and it was just an absolute wonderful time. But I want to take a moment here. Uh, Elton and Sharon. Uh, Elton is Marion's oldest brother. I would love for Elton and Sharon and Sha uh, Shonda and Chrissy to please share your memories. This is the family of Marion Ramsey. Elton? You have to remember bottom left, turn the microphone. There you go. Can you hear me? Yeah. I want to thank every one of you for participating in this wonderful event. Mary, I love everybody, and uh, we really miss our sister, but she has three other brothers, and I'm the oldest, and uh, they want me to let you know that we love all the movies and all her bands out there. This is why we're dedicating this to my lovely sister. Like I said, I'm the oldest, and uh, we miss her so much. I've been with her for 73 years. Uh, some of the things that I shared in the past, during high school, uh, uh, I was in, in plays and uh, the choir, and I was a senior on my way getting ready to go out of high school, leave high school, and of course, Marion was like a junior in high school, and everything that I did, she did, but she did like 20 times better. Uh, she Right after me in the theater in high school and uh, also uh, different other projects we were doing but she went further and before that I used to uh, draw but I draw with a pencil my sister took it further she did oil paint painting and at that time too uh, I was pretty good I was so good that some representative from uh, Walt Disney from Florida came up to my house and wanted me to uh, participate, be on their team, but I had to move down to uh, Florida. But I had so much fun with my friends, and I uh, declined that. But, uh, one thing about my sister, we, she saw something, she went for it. And uh, I'm ever grateful that uh, she was my sister. And now my wife has something to say also. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chrissy, I love you. You are such a sweet lady. Um, and Sean, your beautiful uh, letter to me was just brought tears to my eyes. Thank you. Could you share some of the memories you have with your aunt? Um, okay, I'll, I'll go first and then I'll let my sister go. Um, just want to say that I'm the oldest niece, so um, I think I have it in order. So as far as nieces and nephew, it was um, Danny, myself, Chrissy, um, Alvin, Junior, Shonda, Antoine, and Elton. Those are all the nieces and nephews. And then the great nieces were Tabrana, Alicia, Aaliyah, Simon, and Tony. So um, I'm just going to share that when I think of my Marion, I think of my grandmother and my grandfather. And um, the stories that I shared um, and heard from Tammy and Clint um, about my Aunt Marion's memory, to me, was just like my grandmother. Um, the cooking, um, the homemade wine, 
Um, I just remember um, we all have something of my Marion attribute. Uh, my sister was in plays in high school. Um, me and my brother, we all, and my sister, we all took you know, musical instrument lessons. Um, my grandmother used to have us dance and put on little plays as we were growing up. She wanted to learn to dance moves. So I guess being, um, we, we're just left with um, memories, and I can see a little bit of uh, Marion and, and all the children and my niece and nephews cook, and uh, Marion was a wonderful cook. So um, I just want to thank everybody. Um, just, just for your love and your 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 um, concern and condolences, especially to my dad and his brothers, um, it really made our her heart feel good um, that the love that the people have for her and from Broadway and Hollywood and even calls from London and the whole police academy, it just made us feel good as a family that you all were gracious enough and kind enough just to reach out and um, show love to us, and that we really appreciate how you really loved on our dad and our uncles. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Chrissy. Uh, I I was told that I cut Sharon off. I didn't know that I did. Oh, sorry. Uh, Want to say something? Oh, that's that, that's fine. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I have a problem. I just want to say, as has been said before, thank you, Paul and Tammy and all of those who seen her police academy family in addition to her broadway family and television family what an honor and a privilege to see all of you together and for you to love marion the way you do each and every one that spoke i could feel that love and sincerity for Marion. Marion was a wonderful, loving, and as all of you know, she would give you the shirt off her back. But when I say to Marion, I go back so far. I can remember where you're from the same neighborhood, West Philadelphia. And I can remember Marion in elementary school. Although her brother is old, much older than us, we were not, he was ahead of us. But we would walk, I would walk over there. And I know the other ladies know what I mean when I say we would go over there. I'd go over to her house and we'd play jacks. You probably don't know what jacks, but the jacks in the ball. So we play together from time to time when I so am older than her. And I remember her elementary school, junior high school, high school. And, uh, she was a dynamic performer in high school. Uh, and at the time we did drift apart. There wasn't a regular peer of her because I'm older. But her, her brother and I came back together years later and we have, we are celebrating over 50 years plus Mary. So when we think, and Marion was so loving and caring, I'm thinking that about my, his mother and father, and because every time that she would come in, come back home, and she would leave, at that time they had the buses, Greyhound, Tramway, or fly, Marion would cry like a baby. They had to make her go, go, go. You have an audition. Go, Mary, and go. So that uh, her family, her mom and dad, really in, encouraged and made her step out. They recognized, even the teachers in high school recognized her talent. So there's so much more I could say. Uh, but the last time that we spoke with Marion, as she recalled on a regular basis, it was New Year's Day, and so it was a shock. But only God knows. And uh, we are just so blessed, as Elton said, to have her for 73 years, his sister, and we just appreciate from Philadelphia, shout out, New York, and 
California, all of the love from around the world. Elton has heard from people from around the world. Every continent that you can name have in some way tried to contact him on Facebook or have that the number have called and we saw all the uh, different uh, tributes. So thank you. Thank you each and every one for the love. Uh, and I know that Marion is up there looking down and she's, she is smiling, singing and dancing, having a fabulous time. And so thank you for loving her. Thank you for sharing all of the wonderful memories that you have with Marion. Trivia, and let me give you, ask you just to lighten it up a little bit, a little tribute. For Marion Ramsey, I'm going to ask you, did Marion Ramsey dance on A, Soul Train, B, American Bandstand, or C, Hollabaloo, before she went to New York? Who can answer that? If you think you know the answer, raise your hand and just shout it out. Okay. Is it A or B, C? Soul Train, American Bandstand, or Hollow Balloon? You can, okay. I can say all of them. I can say all three. All three. The answer is American Bandstand. American wow. Remember. <laughs> When Marion was in high school, Dick Clark's show came out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 46 and Market. And uh, she was the wow. first. She was one of the first wow. to integrate American bandstand with Dick Clark. Uh, so she she has made so many historical entrances that it's just too too much to talk about right now. But I thought I'd lighten it up a little bit because all of you know about American bandstand, especially those around my husband and I's age, American, or then uh, Marion's age. So thank you. God bless you. And I'll just introduce you to our Shonda. youngest daughter. She is our youngest daughter, Shonda, and our granddaughter, Malia. Take it away. <laughs> You're hired. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello. Hello, everyone. I am Shonda Lavasser. I'm Shonda Marion Ramsey Lavasser. And this is my daughter, uh, Leah Lavasser. Hi. And uh, I will just say this um, from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for gathering together to honor and celebrate my aunt. Um, she was, as you all know, just a powerhouse. Um, as someone said, a tornado, a ball full of energy. Wherever she went, she lit up a room. You could not be sad in her presence. So, you know, as, as her niece, um, real appreciation of just art, drama, music uh, as well. And, you know, although I did not pursue it any further, uh, my Aunt Marion's great niece, Aaliyah, is, will be picking up her torch. So it's been great for that relationship that she's had, um, you know, with her great aunt as well. They have so many, so many things in common. Um, you know, that they love with, with, with music and movies and, and writing books and just ideas. They would be on the phone for hours where I just remember sometimes hollering up the stairs of, you know, Aunt Marion, you still on the phone? This is three hours, three hours of a school night. <laughs> so, but they were together, you know, together and just brainstorming it and all just the, the, the love that we had, you know, for her passion, you know, it wasn't just work, but it was a uh, passion that she had. And I'm just so grateful that uh, for the opportunities that she had uh, as well. And 
the joy that she has brought into so many people's lives uh, throughout this universe. So again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, my family's heart, you know, for putting this together and honoring and, and celebrating uh, the life and the legacy of my aunt, Marion Ramsey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I believe I've gotten to each and every one of you, but I want to leave you with this. The last thing that Marion and I were working on was the fact uh, I had her and Leslie and I believe Michael and we were trying to get Bob Goldway and the rest of the police academy last year into the, uh, the Parsippany, New Jersey chiller show. So they were all signed up and she and I were working on uh, these tote bags. You've seen the canvas bags with the big hoop type things that go over your arms. And then she and I were working on uh, coffee cups as well. So it's her photo with the tagline of the dirt bag on it. She never had time to sign them. And I don't really have a lot. We paid for, I don't know how many it was, not a lot of them, but um, I can send, uh, you know, some out if you, if anybody wants one. It's not sure. fine. Yeah, yeah. She and I were designing it, and that was the last thing that we were working on together. So I have those. Great. You know, I that love sounds them. wonderful. That sounds great. <laughs> she was so excited. I sent her her cup. So she's got a cup and a tote bag in her apartment somewhere, and. Um, she was so excited. She would call me every single day and she'd say, I'm drinking out of my cup. I'm drinking out of my cup. <laughs> but it was so wonderful. But I, I also want to tell you that this is from the Ramsey family, that Marion did not die from COVID. She died from natural causes. So they that's sent a, that's, that's good to know. Understood. To you know. Pardon me? Understood. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Natural causes. I do have somebody that messaged over on the private chat over on Street Family, which is the website. Sorry about the blurriness. It comes and goes. Um, Regina Pitts Ramsey? Yes. Regina, Regina yes. made a comment on there that said, Marion will be missed by our family. And that was her comment on the live uh -oh. chat. Well, she's okay. gone. That is our cousin. That is her, uh, Regina Pitts. She's married to their cousin, Charles Ramsey, and there's a bunch of Ramseys all, all over the country. So that it's, uh, we call him Jack. Thank you, Regina. <laughs> Ramseys, I, I could so blessed that they were able to be able to view uh, this live presentation. So a shout out to all of the cousins all across the United States, and we have family outside of the United States. A shout out to her older brother. See, I love it. Oldest, then the older, and then of course, this is the youngest, but the older brother who is outside of the country. A shout out to Alvin that was not able to join us this evening. Uh, so a shout out from all of the Ramseys all around the world. Okay. Wow. I'm getting a notice right now that Leslie Easterbrook may be coming in. Well, fantastic. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> Clint's trying to get her on right now. Leslie, the, 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 the uh, young lady that, that was um, well, um, married to the close friend of police academy and yes. she's uh, oh i'm on speaker i'm not i want to be on speaker <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that might be my you phone. on you're slipping <laughs> we've been trying to get her ever since you know if even if i can get her on the phone at least she can talk to you guys go ahead Brian. Oh, so anybody uh, that wants, um, all I said, all I can ask is just pay for the shipping because during COVID, I no lost problem. my job. Not a problem. Not a problem. No problem. 
I don't know how many I have, about 20 cups probably, um, oh. something like that. She took about five of them, so there's some over at her house. But I have the, the bags as well, and they're all, she didn't get time to sign them, unfortunately. That's when COVID hit. We had just, I had just got them in the mail, and I called her up, and so I sent her out hers, and then she was calling me from every day after that saying she was drinking out of them and she was using it to go shopping when she went out. <laughs> Tammy, it, there, must, there must be a way that you can take her signature from something else you and think put it on the cup. Can you do that though? Um, yeah, they, they, they do it like rubber stamps. Like, it, they, they absolutely do that. All right, uh, Tammy? Yes? She's on the phone. She's on the phone, we can't see. No, she's not not having the camera on. But she said, if you want to ask her any questions, you want to say oh, anything. Oh, good! To Everybody, Leslie's with us. <laughs> hey. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. They said hi, Leslie. Hi, everybody. Oh my uh, goodness, I had no idea you were doing this today, and I there I, she I is. So I'm so glad you are. One, go ahead and say something. Oh, you want to say something about Mary and anything you want to say. <laughs> yeah, anything, I would say about, any sentence I would say has the, has the word love in it. There's no, there was ever been anyone like Mary. And she was so completely kind and helpful and delicious and actually moved me out of the house once. I mean, there was nothing you couldn't ask Mary that she would try to do if she, if, even if she couldn't do it. And we had so many incredible experiences traveling around the world with the movies. There they are. And I just felt that she has been my sister for years. And this, I'm just devastated. And I'm just thrilled that you're all doing this today. I just found out. So I don't want to take everybody's time. We want you to talk. <laughs> we oh, want you to God. talk, Leslie. I love you. Talk. I mean, I just, I just, been crying every day and I'm crying for joy at having known Mary and loving her and her in my life having, having her in my life for so long and uh, so it's just been a really hard time for me and I'm sure it has for everybody who's doing this today tell her who's on Clint tell her who's on okay uh, so um, I'm going to read the name of people who are on for you uh, John Wagner uh, Bright Drake, uh, Elton Ramsey, Sharon Ramsey, um, that's Miriam's uh, older brother and yes. wife, then Bruce yes. Mahler, oh, Bruce. Carl, oh. uh, Carl uh, Rodney Allen Rigby, Tom, uh, Tim, I can't pronounce the last name, Krasinski, Krasinski, Brazuler, right? Right, Briswell, and then Brand Champion. You can call Briswell. her Champion. Brand Champion is the best casting director in the world. She's the best casting director in the world. Well, let me tell you, you know, you two, every time we had to bring another victim for Steve Gutenberg, yeah. you were like the kid sisters. You, who are you going to hire? Who are you going to hire? Because you both needed to know. Who is going to be the victim in the next movie? <laughs> I mean, that I mean is adorable and everything. You both put the stand, and with that little voice, Marion would say, "No, who are you going to get? <laughs> Which girl are you going to get?" <laughs> yes, the two of them. in crowds. And Michael Michael Winslow's here. Steve Guzgard's oh, here. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Mary's everybody, niece is, everybody I miss terribly, but not as much as I miss Marion Ramsey, who will be my best friend forever. All right, I didn't get to everybody. Scott, Paul Slavsky's here. Gosh, if Paul, you gave us all this opportunity to know and love Mary. She's the nicest, most talented woman in the world. Then Michael's here, and Chrissy's here. And Terry Mueller is here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I didn't know about this. And I, I, feel, like, I feel like an idiot because here I am. I keep you've been doing this. And I, did you put this out on the internet? 
Yes, and Scotty's here, and you're going to be on, on the internet too now that you're speaking. Oh, and, Scotty Thompson? Scotty Thompson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Scotty Scott is also here. Not Carl. Not Matt McCoy. Not Matt McCoy. McCoy. All the connections that we have with each other. And, and yeah, let's make I just want to say, Bright Drake was actually Jim Drake, who was also very bright. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim Drake, sorry. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. And uh, Carl's iPad is actually Donovan Scott. I love you, Leslie. Yeah, <laughs> Michael McManus and everybody. All right, sweetie. She said you all became family. Uh, I, want, I want everyone to know Paul. Everybody, Jim, what a wonderful writer you are. I have read. <laughs> and there you go. Our, our, our amazing book. Sorry, Michael. Thank you. 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 Anything's possible. Yeah. And don't forget to mention the Facebook group, the Street Family oh, Club. Facebook group. Yep. Family Club. There you go. That's the Facebook group. Yep. Street Family Club. Street Family Club. All right. Well, we want to make sure that everyone knows about that. That's good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone, for, um, there's the cups that Mary and I designed, oh, and then I took them off to, to be printed. I'm waiting. Come on, I'm waiting. I, 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 need, I need something on you. I'm waiting. There you go. Let me see if I can find mm -hmm. the bags real quick here. Do you have the bags, too, honey? I don't believe I do, but I can look at that top of you now. And, and it's on, on, on the YouTube. Yeah. I can't get to the YouTube because I don't have the computer on. Okay. Well, I don't worry about it. Excuse me, Tammy. Oh. My dad would like to say something. Needed, huh? Okay. It's really bright. You need to come uh, I don't know how to do it. Hold on, Tammy. Let me see. Oh, I do have the bag. Hold on. Let me load it. Give me a minute. Uh, uh, you uh, have uh, a Mr. Okay. Mr. Ramsey had something to say. Okay. Yes, uh, Hold on, Tammy. All right, okay, there. Mr. Ramsey. Okay, it's going to take just a second. Uh, my cousin Pat also, uh, we want to, she is the oldest, and uh, she wants to thank everybody also. My, my cousin. Thanks. All right. Thank yes. Thank very, very, very well. So we want to pay tribute and give her a, a shout out. She was not able to to travel so god bless mm -hmm. you cousin pat jones she's the go. oldest grandchild of that side and she was like a second mother for all four of them wow wow rodney what's what is the facebook page because i want to be part of it one more time the facebook page was what was it family it's just being restreamed. Go ahead, Rodney. Give it to her. There you go. It is the Facebook group. The Facebook group, Street Family Club. Make sure you go to Facebook. Like it. Join it. Again, Facebook Club, Facebook Club, Street Family Club. And what is it that uh, your, your club does, uh, JW? Our club is an organization that we built um, basically to help people that are in need. So when you lose your job and you're struggling, I don't care if you're famous or not famous. I don't care if you're rich, poor, black, white. It doesn't matter. If you've lost your job, if you became homeless, if you wind up in drug addiction, no matter what it is, my club members are built by people who have had problems in one way or another. and We've helped them. Once we help them, they join our club and they pay it back forward and they start helping other people with us. So our club Got is it. growing. Right now we've filed for not-for-profit. Um, our club is growing and slowly we, we're very selective on who we bring in. But our club is growing to the point that 
we're pretty much opening the doors to anybody and everybody so we can expand this, make this bigger. And so we can help a lot more people. Um, it's just, we've helped people from drug addiction, like I said, put them in a one year treatment facility because we're connected to them. Um, Salvation Armies, all the thrift stores in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They'll give us vouchers and donate to us that we can hand Ooh, things back out. Very good. Very um, good. We're, we're really trying to help people. We've had cars donated to us. I mean, and, and remember, we're not a legal organized business when we started this. This is out of our own pocket. So if we've got 20 bucks and you need 10, we're going to give it to you and we're going to make sure you get what you need. Um, if, you way, if you go to that website, streetfamily.club, you can actually watch the video or learn about it if you want to. But I do have another comment that's coming in right now that I need to read to you guys. So if you'll bear me just one second to try and focus and see this, because I'm half blind. Remember, we're live. We're streaming live all over. Well, you want to hear comments this. Coming in. Yeah, you all want to hear these comments, at least this one. Okay. Marion's cousin, Charlie, is so grateful for the beautiful tribute and acknowledgement of the business he loved so deeply. Uh, he last spoke with Marion on New Year's Day, and will miss her warm. I cannot read that from here. Hold on one second. You want my glasses? <laughs> I really need mine. My eyes are getting blurry. I've been putting mine on all this time. She last spoke with Marion on New Year's Day, and will miss her warm, scintillating personality. Thank you so much for honoring her with such a wonderful tribute. And that is from Regina oh. Fitz Ramsey. Absolutely. And if there's anybody here, I know that Hamilton Radio Team Piero uh, was the gentleman that graciously offered up his Roku channel to stream this live all over the place. So if anybody wants to be a guest on his show and tell about your life, he would greatly appreciate that as well. You don't have to. Just saying if you want to. It's a little bright in the background, but if you take a look here on my camera, guys, you can see it right there. That is that is the live feed that's going over the Roku channel right now. Wow. So all of you guys, all of you guys are live on TV right now. Once Say again. hi, everybody. <laughs> Say hi to the world. <laughs> hey, <don't you? laughs> uh, do some, do some uh, voices. Just open the door for Michael. Hello, really? oh, here it comes. Awesome. Oh, now, now we're showing we're showing pictures. See, this is good. I want to. Yes, let's, let's see what that is. Mary and Bob is her wall. This oh. is Mary and Bob. You take your camera, take your camera or the laptop with you. You won't be able to see them from far. Okay, I'll put it. Put it in your hand. Chrissy's put a cup. <laughs> Just one second. Yeah, hold on. Wow. The whole wall is dedicated to Marion. For years. <laughs> For years. Okay. I'll start with. Um, wait a minute. You have to go real close, honey. Okay. Can you so, see? Okay. So I don't know if you can see, but it's the uh, um, original UB. Um, um, closer. Oh. Closer. Now down. <laughs> there you go. Over to the right. There you Over. go. Okay, so it's the original UB album. It's um, I'm Marion with Billy D. Williams. Wow. Wow. Let me hold. Okay. You guys up there, that's the original 33 to 30 album. I have it in case. You got to go up. You have okay. to monitor the, the camera, honey. Monitor okay. the camera. Look at it as you're holding it up against something. That way you'll know if they get it. Wait a minute. We got a little height challenge. Hold on. <laughs> uh, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's better, Christy. Okay. So that's, that's the shorter side of the family. This is the police academy. Oh. You got to go over. Got to go right over. Now, half Billy D and half police academy. 
Wow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Up a little bit. Oh. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Back a little bit. It's great. And I think they show. I have a dream. It's I have a dream. I think you're going to turn this out. Is that good? Is that one good? Uh, they're coming out a little bit uh, uh, with shadows on them, bright lights, basically. It's just showing right. the uh, camera. The screen. Uh, yeah, the screen. It's coming back. Oh, uh, you know. nice to be. Okay. Yeah. Is that too dark? I don't know if that was affected. Okay. They're going to stream on Facebook. Yeah. Light angle. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, on. hopefully they can just take pictures. And yeah. then repost them on the Facebook. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Just take, all you have to do is take a nice, nice, make sure there's no glare and take a nice clean picture and then right. repost them. Most of them are already posted on Facebook. Uh, Not all of them. We'll, we'll, we'll put them up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyways, I want to thank you all. I worked on this so hard to try to get this put together for Marion and with her family. I love you, Sharon and Elton. I love you very much. And Chrissy, you, Donda, and I love you all. Uh, I know that Marion loves all of you, every single one of you. Yes, she's not one single person in this in this uh, meeting that she didn't love. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. All of you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Very well. Yes, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. I love you all. It was a love fest. Here, here to Marion. <laughs> thank you. Right, you guys should take Great that and stride, everybody. Take, Take that care. Right, and don't be so strangers well, to each other. Talk everybody each other has their email address, so if you want a cup, well, I'll I'll send out as many as I have. You have my email, so just let me know. Give me the address of where you want to send it, and you can do a Zelle for the postage. I'll send it overnight because I want to make sure that it gets to where it needs to go instead of sending it ground. So mm -hmm. that's usually about $7.45, something like that. So there you go. And yeah. that's it. Zelle is through your phone number. Don't know if you know that, but Zelle is through uh, all of your banks. So it's my phone number, which is 909-229-0016. So, there you go. <laughs> and I'll send those out. But remember, I didn't, she wasn't, we couldn't, I couldn't go to her to get them all signed. So none of them are signed. That's the sad part. That's when, um, but Fern was bringing up the there fact that. There is a way, Tammy. There really is a way that you take something. I've had it done, something from a letter or her signature. So you'll you figure it out. More on that. Yeah. Maybe we can have that done yeah. before they're sent out. Yeah, please. But this was magnificent. This was joyful. This was my crazy, wonderful adventure with some of the most talented actors. And she really did love every one of them. Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, because we came, some came from the comedy store, the improv and the comedy. Here we had Broadway. Broadway was in the house. <laughs> I'm telling you, and she rocked it. She was impossible to control, and you wouldn't know. <laughs> so I thank you. I thank all of you. I miss you all. I had the most fun finding you and creating a, a film with Paul, and the first one was, was you. We had no idea what we had, but when you look at this cast, they fell in love with each other. They became another kind of family that on each police academy, new people came in. It was cousins, they were aunts, they were uncles, new people. And you know something? Everybody welcomed them. And Marion coming, I'm mean, looking at this family. You got a lot of people. So that was Marion. She embraced everyone that came on board. So I thank you all. 
Thank you, Fern. Thank you. All Thank right. you, Fern. We love you, Fern. I got a question for you, Fern. Be careful. It's being filmed. <laughs> when, when Marion came in for last words, when Marion came in for her interview and all that stuff, when she first came into the set and first came in and started, I, I saw a little video clip of her uh, explaining about her first interview, and I don't know if you ever saw that, but they asked her how did she get the voice. Do, do you remember what she said or how she became that voice? I know how. Do you want me to tell? Well, I think you should, since everybody wants to. <laughs> she told me that how she got that Minnie Mouse voice is that the fact that she watched Michael Jackson yes. the day yeah. before. And all she did was she emulated him. And that's how she got it. <laughs> oh, wow. And, you know, John Goldwyn was in the room when this was happening. Wow. Uh, I mean, each, uh, it was really each one of these characters was a character. Each one just played it to the nines. And yes, that voice of hers and that ability to just change. She was a love fest. She really was. And again, Terry, thank you so much. This is quite a family in front of the camera and again in back. Miss Aslansky, I owe you big. <laughs> I don't think he's with us right now, but he'll see it. <laughs> yes, he will. And Goop, miss you madly. Miss you too, Fernie. Love you. Does Love anybody you want to, want to uh, add any memories or before we sign off? I, I uh, just, 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 just wanted to say um, um, thank you for uh, uh, thank you for the experience of knowing everyone. Steve, everybody, all of you. Thank, thank you, Fernie. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. my goodness. We need to go visit the Rams. We need to go visit the Rams. We need to go visit the Rams. So, You're Miami. all excited. Come on over. Uh, uh, Officer Sweetchuck has to go pick up some curbside groceries. But if you're ever in Chicago, please look me up. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm in New York. Yeah. 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 Okay. Try to speak. Kim? Yeah. Oh, Leslie's trying to talk again. Huh? I married my husband, Dan Wilcox, I moved into a giant house in Hollywood, and it was right next to the D in the Hollywood sign on the hill, but it was a four-story house, humongous house, and Mary needed a place to stay, so I said, well, why have room for Mary, but you, she could take her to her choice, make her choice, I can come and stay, and so she did, and so she came and stayed with us for a while, and then we had to move out of the house and it sold the house and whatnot. And we had to, all these things we had to do. And so Marion was left at home and she basically cleaned out the entire house for us. I up and down stairs with furniture, all kinds of things. She, she basically got us out of that house on time. Wow. And for anyone to do a job like that with many staircases and heavy things, just wow. as Oh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I love doing it, I'm doing it. And I just said, this is the most extraordinary woman I've ever met. <laughs> wow. Outstanding. And so, yeah. you know, my husband, Dan, is just as fond of her as, as, as could be, and he's just heartbroken like I am, and we just sit quietly, and then the tears start to run down our cheeks, and they're still doing it, and they probably will for another few months, if not forever. Yeah. Mm. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We'll, we'll, we'll come to see. We'll come to see you. We'll come. We'll, 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 we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Michael Winslow says you're gonna come and see you. You'll be all right. We're gonna come and see you. Circle around. <laughs> I'd love to do that. I'd love for us all to get together. I, I really I really would. Well, well let's do let's do the Hollywood show autograph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put you all in there. Just let me know if you want to do it, or we'll do chiller. You got it. You got it. Just, 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 just stay in touch with us. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I love you all. Thank you, you so too. much. Good day, everybody. Bless you all. Hey, thank you, Tammy, Clint, and everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Look at Scott. <laughs> Scott's putting that uh, that sign up. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Bye, Bye everybody. I love you. Bye, Sharon and Elton. I love you. Yeah.
get Chrissy and Shonda. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. God bless. God bless everybody. KW, you got my heart, and so does Jean. Thank you, darling. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Thank bye -bye. you again, Sammy. You're welcome, honey. Bye. Love you all. Thank you. Love you. You're welcome. Be well, Clint. Hey, yes, be well. be well, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Stay safe. <coughs> yes. Okay, somebody hit the leave. Good.